dear viewers our today's video is related to the uh, subject geography we are going to discuss chapter number 8 from your textbook mining and power resources the first topic mining has been completed and we are going to discuss power resources power resources in our country are these um, uh, natural gas mineral oil coal hydroelectricity nuclear energy solar energy and biogas we are going to discuss these one by one all these slides are made uh, from your textbook nothing extra has been added so you can easily read and match it with your uh, course books first one is natural gas natural gas is obtained from different places but from few places it is obtained in a large quantity for example uh, sui in balochistan uh, khan coat and khas khali in sindh tooth and mir in punjab and all these uh, these um, uh, obtained from these areas combine fulfill just 50% of the country's need gorkhari gorgari and district karak became the huge reserve of natural gas in khyber pakhtunkhwa so the next is you can find this on page number 106 mineral oil uh, we just uh, produce 20% of crude oil of its needs children what is crude oil crude oil is oil which is not refined uh our estimated oil reserves are th uh, 313 million barrel now what is barrel barrel is a standard size cylindrical container that normally we use for the water storage in our home so uh, it is that our daily production is 66532 barrel a uh, search for oil is very expensive so big companies are given these contracts we have oil reserves uh, resources in potwar plateau punjab uh, and in kohat khyber pakhtunkhwa but uh, you know these uh, procedures are actually very expensive the extraction is expensive the next is coal the estimated reserves of coal in our country is 185 billion tons our need is but 6.4 billion tons most of the uh, resources are discovered in sindh uh, province at lakra sonda tata jarak and thar balochistan and kp also has these reserves uh, in kp these reserves are in hangu in chirat and in azad jammu kashmir at kotli hydroelectricity hydro means water so the electricity that is generated from water is called hydroelectricity uh, in this procedure the running water is utilized to generate electricity water comes in the form of rivers from mountains this water with high pressure is being fallen on a turbine the turbine rotates and generate electricity uh, 33% of electricity is generated by hydropower we have turbila dam at river indus mangla dam at river jhelum and warsak dam at river kabul we are trying to make more and more dams and we need to make more dams in order to generate electricity and in order to overcome the power shortage in our country okay the next is nuclear energy now nuclear you know that as it is very clear that this is uh, something this is some kind of energy that is from from an atom fine so developed countries have this way of, to generate electricity uh, we have uh, this um, kind of a plant in karachi karachi nuclear power plant and at chashma near miawali and just 2% of electricity we are are uh, producing from these sources the next day is solar energy solar energy is the cheapest source of uh, of electricity solar cells are fixed that changes solar energy into electricity and uh, people even have installed solar panels on their rooftops in order to 
um, um, generate electricity and uh, uh, we are also trying to uh, move uh, the vehicles by this a source of energy and as we are already utilizing it for uh, for cooking and for heating our homes but in future we are thinking to generate uh, more and more electricity uh, from this solar energy biogas biogas is a new uh, technique and this is a very interesting way of generating uh, electricity and uh, power this is a very interesting power resource and uh, in this way wastes of the livestock is dumped into a tank which is dug underground and it generates gas and this gas is actually methane it acts as a fuel it is experimented in many countries this way is the safest way to replace dung fuel uh, which is uh, you know um, directly made uh, from the dung cakes from uh, uh, from the wastes of these animals that is normally used in the rural in the rural areas at some stage electricity can also be generated from this biogas technique this was the last topic we have covered all these power resources that we have in our country i uh, hope i hope um, children that you will go through all this uh, all these topics in order to prepare it for your exams and um, stay happy stay blessed and uh, wait for our next video till that goodbye